Modern Warfare 2's post-launch content has been really underwhelming, especially for multiplayer fans, especially when it was marketed pre-release as having the biggest post-launch content updates ever. With us only seeing Shoot House and Shipment come over to multiplayer, which were both featured in the last Modern Warfare game anyways, it really seems like multiplayer is falling behind. Well anyways, in this video I want to go over everything that is going to be coming in the biggest post-launch content update yet, which is of course Season 2, currently scheduled to release on the 1st of February. Yes, that's right, it seems like there's a few month gap between seasons and that's because it seems like Modern Warfare 2 unfortunately is just going to be having five seasons, just like Vanguard. So the seasons will be lasting longer. In spite of this, it doesn't seem like we've been getting any additional content to beef up the fact that the seasons are longer. Of course, there is rumoured year two DLC that you'll have to pay for featuring new multiplayer maps and campaign DLC, but it seems likely that'll be marketed as essentially a brand new game, even if it boosts from the same Call of Duty HQ, and it'll probably have its own unique seasons too. In this video, I want to go over all of the new weapons coming, all of the new maps, as there is actually quite a bit planned, but first of all, I have an amazing software to let you be aware of. This video has been kindly sponsored by Yahaha Studio, which is a new and free user-generated content creation platform for 3D multiplayer interactive experiences and games. Anyone can create and publish their virtual experiences without coding experience or server knowledge. Simply use the cool features, components, and smart assets in the Yahaha Studio, there are around a million of them available to make your dream games. They host regular live sessions for the community to help creators enhance their metaverse building skills, follow Yahaha on Twitch or check out their previous sessions on YouTube. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started with Yahaha. After you open up a game template, you can make changes to it, for example changing the sky and its colour. Here you can see me adding a new character. Make sure to position the character near the spawn point so you can see it easily. Finally, let's put it to the test by clicking the top right button. With the software, I can enter the playtest mode at any time to check out my creation and can then adjust accordingly. See how easy that process was to make your own games? So why not try it out for yourself and put your creativity in action by clicking the link in the description to download the studio for free today. Okay, so as you know, there were some season two leaks quite a while ago, so we already have a very good idea of what exactly is coming in this season. I'm first going to recap all of the old leaks that we received and then I'm going to go over all of the new information to beef up. First things first, it seems like season two is going to be Japanese themed, so we're probably going to be getting a lot of anime bundles in the store and skins in the battle pass. And because it's Japanese themed, the main operator for season two looks like he is going to be Ronin, and of course an operator that we saw in Modern Warfare 2019. Again, it seems like the post-launch content is a bit disappointing. I want to see new characters that are unique to this game and that have awesome backstories. It does also seem like the logo and stuff like that is going to be red this time, that's going to be the colour theme of this season as opposed to green for season 1. The most interesting piece of post-launch content for season 1 has been the first episode of Raids, Atom Grad, and because there's apparently going to be 5 seasons, it seems like we're going to be getting 5 raids, 1 per season. Of course, the first raid released in season 1 Reloaded, so is the second episode of Raids going to release at the start of season 2 or in season 2 Reloaded? I'm hoping that it's going to be the start of season 2, just because the wait between season 1 Reloaded and by the time that season 2 actually launches is going to be quite a while and I really want to find out what exactly has happened to Alex as we know that he's of course currently missing in action after we learn of his disappearance on Atomgrad. So I'm guessing that's where the season 2 storyline and raid will pick up from. It begs the question, will Alex also come as an operator at some point if he does end up returning? I don't think he's going to return straight away though, I think he's going to be something saved for a future season but we'll just have to wait and see. So of course the biggest thing that was leaked coming in Season 2 is a new Resurgence map that we don't exactly know the name of, but it's going to be set on the island that we can see off the distance in Almazra that has a castle on it, and you can see all of the points of interest on screen. This is also going to come as a DMZ map. I'm hoping that when it comes as a DMZ map, it's going to be a permanent map, and it won't be something temporary like Building 21, where for some weird reason, Infinity Ward keep cycling Building 21 in and out. They keep adding it back and then removing it. I just just wish they would just keep it in permanently, honestly. I really hate the idea of limited time content. But this is going to be awesome to explore in DMZ. Personally, I think Building 21 is a much more enjoyable map than Almazra, and I think that this new resurgence map is going to bridge the gap between Almazra and Building 21. It's not going to be anywhere near as intense as Building 21, but it's going to be more intense than Almazra, more close quarters. And I'm glad that we're finally going to be getting a new resurgence map inside of Warzone, because of course they've removed Rebirth Island 
Island and Fortune's Keep from Warzone 1. So players who just like the smaller maps that's more fast paced action and is more similar to multiplayer still need something to enjoy and this is going to be the substitute to Rebirth. However in the centre of the map is going to be a remake of the map Castle from World of War that was also brought back in Vanguard. This is apparently also going to be coming as a ground war map to multiplayer in Modern Warfare 2 and I do wonder as to whether it will have a 6v6 variant as well but we only know of it having a war zone and a ground war variant just yet so it might not just be the castle it could be the entire map in ground war but it is really strange that they've brought back castle when we just saw it in Vanguard and also it's a Treyarch map in an Infinity Ward game I think this is the first instance where we've seen a Treyarch map in an Infinity Ward game and what this means is it opens up the door for the future of us seeing Infinity Ward maps in Treyarch games and Treyarch maps in Infinity Ward games. Sledgehammer's games however had some Treyarch and Infinity Ward maps in their games but that makes sense because you don't have as large of a back catalogue of old classic Call of Duty maps like Treyarch and Infinity Ward do since they haven't been making Call of Duty games for as long. There is also going to be a new event coming which I think is for DMZ and possibly Warzone as well. But anyways that's a good recap of all of the previous leaks that we have received. Now I want to go over the new information. So in terms of new multiplayer maps that are going to be coming. As I just said, Castle is going to be coming part of this new Resurgence map. We're not sure if it's for 6v6 though, but there has been a couple more maps that have been found in the files. One is codenamed Sunken, and one is codenamed Oilfield. Now, we're not sure if those are going to be the actual map names, or if they're just placeholders, but nevertheless, these are sections from Almazra, so it seems like these will probably be ground war maps, and won't be in 6v6, although they might have 6v6 variants too, but judging from the experiences you can check out in Almazra, and in Warzone, it doesn't seem like they would be that suitable for 6v6. Maybe Sunken, maybe the ground war variants you can go outside the boat and the 6v6 variant is just on the boat. There has also been a bunch of gunfight maps leaked. Now, as you know, gunfight was supposed to release in Season 1, but for some reason it didn't, and Infinity Ward haven't even commented on why it never released. They've literally not said an official thing once. I really don't know why I don't like being kept in the dark in terms of communication. I really enjoyed gunfight. I think it was one of the best best additions in Modern Warfare 2019 and can't wait to see it return, but there's actually a bunch of maps that have been found in the files of the game for it. We have Runway, Castle, Convoy, Gulag Showers, which of course we saw in Modern Warfare 2019, so it could be left over in the files, Cargo, The Mall, Dogs, Drainage, which once again was another gunfight map in Modern Warfare 2019, we have Utopia, and we have Ruins. Now, I feel like the people reporting on this leak are misinterpreting the code because because, for example, Castle, like I said, that's apparently going to be a section of this new Resurgence map. I don't know how they would then make it into a gunfight map unless they add in the 2v2 Gulag that's in Almazra and they could have that as a gunfight map as when people actually enter this section in Almazra, you can actually see they are located on the island in the distance with the castle on, so maybe that's going to be coming as a gunfight map as well. Now, there has been a couple more maps found in the files of the game. We have Observe and we also have a Regional Again, these could be sections from our Masra. Speaking of drainage, for example, this might not just be the same map from Modern Warfare 2019. It could, for example, be the remade section of Pipeline from COD 4, which is a section in our Masra. But honestly, this is all information from the files of the game, so of course it's subject to change and or misinterpretation. Some of these could just be left in the files or just testing maps. But yeah, that's everything we know regarding future maps coming to the game. So these won't be maps all releasing in Season 2, of course. They'll probably be spread out over the future seasons. I really hope that Gunfight does come in Season 2 though, because they said it was coming in Season 1, so surely it's going to be Season 2 considering it hasn't released already. Now we have information regarding the new weapons coming to Season 2. So first of all, it seems like we're going to be seeing a Katana, as a big bladed weapon was shown in Ronan's hand on the leaked Season 2 artwork. Another weapon that seems like it's going to be coming in Season 2 is a new shotgun, as new unfinished compensators have been found in people's games. So maybe a new shotgun is going to be coming, but this again might not be season 2, it could be later on. Speaking of some other weapons found in the files of the game, we have a ballistic knife, a flaming knife, and also the shuriken, which I think is probably definitely going to be coming as an alternative to a throwing knife in season 2, because obviously this is a Japanese themed weapon, and if this season is going to be Japanese themed, it makes complete sense to come in season 2. In terms of the ballistic knife and flaming knife, they could be left over in the files coming later on, but these have all been found in the files of the game, so are very likely to release. Another melee weapon that's very likely to release is the Kali Sticks, which of course we've seen as an execution, but 
it seems like this will also be coming as a full-on melee weapon. And the final weapon that's been found in the files is the crossbow. Now, you are actually able to get the crossbow inside of the campaign for the game, I guess as a bit of an early preview, but it is going to be coming as a weapon to multiplayer and Warzone as well. And we have some additional information on it as multiple bolt types have been found in the files. So we have explosive bolts, carbon bolts, stun bolts, and fire bolts. Bob says the explosive and fire bolts are probably going to do what you expect them to do. The stun bolts could be the gas bolts returning. That's where it just functions like a long range stun grenade. The carbon bolts are likely either lighter or heavier than the regular bolts with no special effects. Just bolt V range and weight affected. The final piece of upcoming content that we have information on is upcoming modes that have once again be found in the files of the game. Now Cyber Attack and Team Defender have already released, but in the files there's Reinforce, Drop Zone, Gun Game, Infected, Uplink, Cranked, and also Grind. So these are probably all going to release over the course of the future seasons in the game. It really sucks that all of the content is spread out and for some of these will end up being limited time modes instead of being there permanently. Once again, I really hate limited time content, but those are future modes you can expect. I'm glad to see party game modes returning and it's going to be good to see Gun Game. We've already seen Gun Game in Spec Ops, but it'll be making its way more traditionally in multiplayer too. But that's all of the future maps, modes, weapons, etc. content coming to Modern Warfare 2. Anyways, thank you for watching the video and make sure to subscribe if you're not here for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. So anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.